I'm Karine Winter, and this is The Buzz Today. Carol's Kingly Night. A collection of stars celebrated songwriting legend Carol King at a benefit Tuesday. The event called You've Got a Friend highlighted King's impact on the music industry and her support of Paul Newman's Painted Turtle Camp, which benefits children suffering from chronic illnesses. Stars at the benefit told us no matter how many tomorrows come, they'll always love the 70-year-old folk rocker. She writes songs. That's a big difference, you know. She doesn't have to go looking for material. It's right there. So many songs that she's written, and she's just a giver. She's one of the greatest American songwriters of all time. Um, and to do it when she did it as a female was unheard of. LL's love for Taylor. LL Cool J's impressed by country pop sensations, Taylor Swift's success. LL and Swift are teaming up for the second time to host the Grammy nominations concert on Wednesday. Four years ago, they did the same show, but LL says Taylor has a whole new vibe this time around. Taylor and I did, you know, Grammy nominations concert back in 2008. So here we are again. We're, we're working together again. She's had this meteoric rise. Now she's, you know, riding shotgun. Bonnie and Clyde. Here we go. Eddie tops flops. Eddie Murphy is topping Forbes' latest list of the most overpaid actors in Hollywood. The Business Magazine compares actors' salaries to how much they ring in at the box office and determined that Eddie's recent string of flops makes him 2012's most overpaid star. Forbes estimates that for every dollar Murphy was paid for his last three films, they only made a mere $2.30 back at the box office. Following Murphy on Forbes' list of most overpaid actors is Katherine Heigl, Reese Witherspoon, and Sandra Bullock. That's the buzz today. I'm Kareem Winter.